bad, to say the least. Picture me even doing this startup without a coach, I'm trying to figure everything out myself. Why do people want to be so much on their own island? I don't know. Like entrepreneurship, especially solopreneurs, it's a lonely game, man. What's going on, guys? Today is Monday. Thank God it's Monday. It is July 20... It's crazy, I don't even be knowing the day. J July, Monday, July 22nd. Um, it is 6.39 a.m. here in Cartagena, Colombia. Uh, feel good. I'm going to try, uh, I'm gonna start this workout today. It's a body weight workout I'm gonna try right out here in the front. Um, reason being is I just have a, a lot of work to do and going to the gym, coming back, going to shoot. Um, I just wanna get my workout in so I can do my work. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna try this body weight workout. I'm gonna try it for 30 days, that's what I'm gonna do. Try it for 30 days. Um, yo, you know what this is right here? You know what this is right here? This is, I finally got my power cord that I left in the States. Um, and I finally got it here. Thank you, King LJ, for bringing my power cord. And now I can actually work on this computer right here. So I'm about to plug this one in. This is better for my eyes um, than the laptop. Definitely, it doesn't matter though. You know, it's always good to have both, but this is my main computer, so I'm gonna plug that in. So let's go ahead and get to the day. And um, man, you guys have a great Monday. And shit, let's take over the world, baby. because it's the most easiest thing to practice. And I find it's the most, oh, I don't know, fulfilling. There's, you just get more information. The words tell me about dot, dot, dot. And then the follow-up to that is the, the, the five W's, the what, why, when, where, how. You don't have to use all of them, just use the one that's, so Asan, why did you do this? I didn't have to, you told me. But if you didn't, I would have said, why did you do this? Um, so what was the result? Yeah, it was, it was definitely the beginning of, of the foundation. It was a, it was like, a something, like I said, cause I had suppressed it for so long because like, I didn't reach my full potential as an athlete. So I surprised, like, it was just like suppressed for so long. Then when I met these athletes, I'm like, hold on, there's something here. So it just reignited something in me to support athletes and go after this thing to help them reach their full potential. Because what the problem that I've seen was that they first were not going to reach their full potential. 
and they lack the support, they lack exposure and for sure the financial support. So that's when they started to come come around where I'm like, there's 450 million athletes in the world. Hey, I just want to support, I just want to support a million <laughs> more a million people with dreams. Oh man, look at this. I found this court. I found this this paddle. Look at this. So I found this racquetball. I mean, it's, not, it's like a paddle ball uh, facility here in uh, Castillo. And uh, they charge about an hour to come play. Man, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start playing here, man. This is super nice, bro. It's a beautiful day here in Cartagena, Colombia. So I was just doing my normal walk daily and ran into a new business a paddle club paddle is becoming to be a very very popular sport and um so i went in there as you've seen in the clips and uh first off i don't have anybody to paddle with but i asked the guy uh, how would I find people to play with? So he, he put me into a group where I can find people to, to play with. So, and that just leaves me on because what I was thinking about today really was how individual we all are in these days and times one of the most things that i loved about playing basketball was being on a team and not being so alone like entrepreneurship especially solopreneurs it's it's a lonely game man it's a lonely game and i've learned that team is so much better you get so much further being on a team rather than being being alone and for some reason most of us and a lot of us are just so ind ind individualistic if that's a word where people just want to do their own thing and where I started thinking about this was like when I just had my my coaching call with my e, with my uh, entrepreneur in residence for my startup, and as of right now, we haven't got our first check, but I've been doing a lot of a lot of work learning my business learning my business like i've never learned a business before and what's happening is when i'm speaking to my entrepreneur in residence as we get ready to pitch investors and pitch the you know the program um I notice how much I know my business because of the work that I've put in. But one thing is also happening in that is that as he's learning me and as he's learning my business, it's instilling a huge confidence in me, him as a coach already, second time, second week and the confidence that the coach is instilling in me is making it so much 
even more tangible that this is going to happen. And why do people want to be so much on their own island? I don't know. I don't get it. Because, like I said, with basketball, man, it was nothing greater than going out there and being in the foxhole with four other guys and then the guys that's going to come off the bench. And we ready to tear somebody somebody ass out the frame like we know we better that's first off but we prepare more and we just gonna kick y'all ass as a team you know and as far as coaching I personally think everybody needs a coach like picture a basketball team trying to play without a coach. That's why the coaches get paid. Like picture that. Picture me even doing this startup without a coach. That's what I've been doing. Sitting up there just trying to figure everything out myself. Like it's crazy. And it's counterproductive to the goal. You know, you need a coach. Um, you need a team. Would Rockefeller records for my 90s guys, would Rockefeller records had existed without Jay, Biggs, and Dane? The Wu-Tang Clan? Like, you can go on and on with just cash money, baby and slim. It's two. Then they had the Hot Boys, which is an extended version of their family. Man, um, I think people are underestimating how important being tied to a team and a coach is when you're trying to accomplish your goals. Uh, damn, every time I do this, I don't wanna be sounding so, I don't wanna be preachy. But what I do is, I just tell you the things that while I'm walking is on my mind anyway, right? I just wanna be clear about that because I'm not really trying to be uh, I'm not trying to be a motivational speaker at all. I'm just telling you guys what I have on my mind while I'm walking anyway, you know? So that's the, that's the talk for the day. And look, look at my homie. Dove in, dove in. Show me in. Si, si. It's bueno. Yo. Aquí? Manga. Huh? Manga. Manga. Cuatro. Ah. Ahorita no hay gente. Cuatro de la tarde, manga. Every day not a good shooting day. I'll tell you that much. That's why players work on their shot because 
no matter what. How good of a shooter you are, you still can have off days. My shot today. Bad, to say the least. Man, it's really hard to find a uh, community uh, when you move to other places or when you went other places like this. So it really made me happy to, to find that uh, that paddleball spot, and they're gonna link me in with other paddle with other players that I play. Um, man. Community is so important, for real. I'm gonna run grab something to eat and I'm headed back to the office. Yo, all right guys, that's the end of this video. I am out, you guys enjoy your day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you like, subscribe. Man, give me a comment or something like that. Let me know if you are feeling this type of content. Um, man, I appreciate it if you watched it. So I'm out, man. Peace.